So you say you don't want the, the show to change, or the show shouldn't change. So like, what are well, you? Apparently, it doesn't need to. Apparently, it's too good. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's gotten. I mean, yeah. bigger than last year. Uh, so like, what sort of aspirations do you have for Godhood? For PAX? What's that? Godhood. I mean, you're pretty Got close. It. You're like behind like five locked doors in here, I know. In this like nondescript room, and <laughs> yeah. 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 And this corridor goes all the way down, as you've seen. <laughs> yeah. You've in, got in your own surreal. camera crew here. Exactly. Yeah. Filming your camera crew. I know. This is the weird part. Yeah. No, I mean, our our aspirations have been satisfied. Yeah. We I mean, wanted to make this. Our aspirations were satisfied in 2004 when, when 3,000 people came. Yeah, and they listened to music <laughs> and they played video games. Yeah. It's just now. 60,000 people come listen to music and play video games. So it seems like right now with, with the expo, you're kind of on this. This is going to be the point for you come March, come Boston, that either it is going to grow into full on bi coastal godhood or it will become too big and you will have sold your souls. What are you guys doing to make sure that Boston, like, Stays in line with what you're doing in Seattle. Like how how closely is that? I mean, you had to go out and like partner with like an, an actual oh yeah, I mean, firm for this stuff. Yeah, right? and we partnered yeah. with Reed. There's no way we could have done an East Coast show. I mean, uh, our, Arcade, our company's just not that big. Yeah, right. Arcade's twelve people. Yeah, it, it takes us everything we've got to put this show on. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as the East Coast show goes, I mean, we've got we've got a lot of people, you know, uh, attendees telling us, man, I would love it if you guys would do an East Coast show. That right. would be so much more convenient. But we also have exhibitors saying, God, why don't you guys do a show on the East Coast? We would love that. Um, so I, I'm, I'm fairly confident that it's going to be successful. I mean, but, you know, selling our souls, like, that'll happen, but it's not going to happen with this. I mean, this is not going to be the venue for soul selling at No, no, no. I mean, that's, that's a little bit further down the road, maybe not much. And you'll know, like, like higher prices. Obvious. That's yeah. I mean, that, that's you know, I, I, feel, I feel like we're we'll eventually get to that point someday too. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. you're gonna get like a Gabe shake and a Happy Meal and right. Get yeah. a little fruit fucker toy and see, it's all the things that you th that you think like hilariously, like, oh man, wouldn't that be great and ridiculous? And then would actually happen. Like, oh no. And then you say it out loud to me times, and someone goes, you know what? <laughs> and then yeah. all of a sudden you're doing it. And you're like dressing up in the suit. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, that's something that. We think about, mm -hmm. and I think that because we think about it so often and with such seriousness, that I think we'll be able to. I think we'll be able to stay on the straight and narrow. It's something we think about all the time, and that is of tremendous importance to us. Mm -hmm. And it, it's something that I mean, we kind of took into consideration. Like, I mean, you guys still have kind of the same ad policy of it seems like you guys are, are like getting builds of games before you will let them advertise on whenever the site. Whenever possible, that, yeah. Yeah, whenever possible. I mean, sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes I have to go with my gut, and, and when I fuck yeah. up, I, you know, yeah, I, I we yeah. say so. So, yeah, I mean, that that's something that we kind of early on decided that, that we wanted to emulate to some extent. And well, it, it's, it's a little different for us because, you know, you know we're actually doing, like, editorial coverage sure. in, in, a, in a pure sense. Absolutely. It's um, a different model. I mean, yeah, so... So you know, there's there's not always that thing of like send us a build and you know we it won't, we won't let it color the editorial but we'll exactly do it. So like that, exactly that's really hard. And, I, and I think that's part of why we're able to get away with right. it yeah. is because they feel like that build is probably safe from editorial right. because our editorial style is not traditional at all yeah so I mean but basically we we've built the site in such a way and we've we've built the business in such a way that we can turn down money and there's not yeah. going to be any one uh, yeah. there's not going to be any one publisher that can make or break. Anything exactly. I mean, the, 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 the difference has to do with site ownership. Right. That's pretty much the long and short of it. Yeah. It, it allows you to operate in a way that is substantially more moral in a raw sense. Yeah. Though it, you have to expose yourself to a lot of things that were kept secret before. <laughs> <laughs> Fluids. Fluids, yeah. There's a lot of fluid exchange, yeah. as I find. When you, when you own part of a business, that, yeah. that pretty much comes with it. That's, I mean, that's why they, you know, that, that's what Delaware secretly means when you go and register a cor like a corporation in Delaware. It's because <laughs> you're going out there and you guys, don't, you're not familiar with the sex term, but the Delawareing for tax purposes. Tax purposes. I don't know what it is to Delaware someone. No. <laughs> I, I, I always assumed that tax purposes was a literal term. Um, I did not know that. You, one could apply quotation marks to it. Tax oh, you do anything. Anything. And it becomes, <laughs> and it becomes illicit somehow. <laughs> anything. A little tone of voice, that's all it takes. Yeah. Getting kind of sensual. Okay, nope. Not, not, not sensual anymore. <laughs> was hot. <laughs> Got gross. You broke quit. it. You uh, broke sorry, it. sorry, sorry. Yeah. So, with, with a crew of 12, obviously, like, anytime you guys want to do 
anything big, it, it stretches you guys pretty thin. Uh, how did creating your own video game, you know, like creating episodic stuff, like how did that work out? And, and well, I mean, our, you, are you continuing with that? Sure, but I mean, our task on the on the game was was not. It was different from full production. Like our yeah. whole company was not involved okay. with that. I so mean, that was that was pretty a, limited. A lot of hothead, and, and you kind of saying, "Here's what we want." Well, no, I mean, I wrote everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wrote every word of the game, but um, I mean, his his art duties. I mean, he didn't have to three D model or something like that. Right. Like, I mean, yeah, was I was a, in there in Maya, like making right, models. Right. So that was that was definitely different. I mean, there, there's a that didn't touch most of the people who actually work at Penny Arcade. Okay. That was a pretty localized phenomenon. Cool. Um, yeah. We were hoping to have we were hoping to have the episode three announcement for PAX, but it, it didn't it didn't nothing was signed, no. um, and so uh, it's still coming. But it'll, it'll, it'll be it'll be it'll be it should be very soon. Cool. That's my hope anyway. How's that experience been overall? Like going through the actual process? Brutal. And, Horrible. Yeah. It seems like it, it would be brutal. We. I recommend as 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 one who has who has dipped his toe into the development side of the equation, who is formerly on the editorial side. I caution you. I stay on this side. <laughs> this is the side you want to be on. It's, it's funny because you know over the years you run into a lot of people that try and use this side of things as a stepping stone to get into development, which is oh, it's all, the worst. We have about a half dozen. Well, okay, so, so I'm not. Rich <laughs> didn't use it to get into development. It just worked out that way in the end. Okay, good. You yeah, worked. yeah, that's legitimate. All right, thank you. That's that's you had to change jobs and you happened to get a job in development. It's the people that say like. Well, I don't know if I want to write this review and say yeah. bad things because I'd like to work for them someday. Right, you're Greg Kasavins. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, what's people, up with that guy? Yeah, people without any ethics. <laughs> you, heard he, you, heard he, you heard he made a move. He's no longer EA. War criminals. Yeah, <laughs> war criminals. Is he not at EA? No, general. he's now at 2K Marin, so he's back in the Bay Area. Bogato. I'm going to have to send an email. I would, I would imagine, I have to imagine he's on Bioshock, which I think makes him officially the 10,000th employee to touch Bioshock 2, so I think he gets like, yeah. a, like a fun, two D- fun D- pack. A bell is sounded at yeah, the very least. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But anyway, watch out. Yeah, don't, don't develop games if you can possibly help it. Yeah, that, that's been kind of the, the running joke lately is like, hey, we should make a game. No? Mm-mm. Don't do it. Maybe we should make a game. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I understand you understand you know a lot about Maya, so maybe you could look at Oh, yeah, <laughs> I make 3D models all the time. I made one during this interview just now. Yeah. yeah. So Sorry, has I'm it been, you know, have you, like, literally been kind of holed up in this room for most no. of the time? I mean, you, no, you, you no, do no. panels, and you've been kind of yeah. doing some... Yeah, just, just the yellow parts are interviews okay. in this room. It's a relatively small percentage. The rest of the time is all pretty much, uh, it's either unstructured time, or it's time that's devoted to the Omegathon, right? Um, which this year has been a hoot. Yeah, like it's our, really been a our good year. game, we had some off the wall game selections this what year. Did, I saw it just said rhythm game. Did that? And what rhythm game? Did they, well, that's coming up tonight. Yeah. That, that, what that, if I told you none of this was running until after this was all over? Oh, it's Beatles Rock Band. Okay, that's that, that, that's that's what I suspect. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, that was my guess. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's kind of fun. We did um, we did a. Uh, a song where I wrote the the melody and the lyrics to a song. So we, we, we there's there's a band in Penny Arc- in the Penny Arcade continuity, quote unquote, mm-hmm. called uh, there, there they are again, um, called the Sex Generals. Oh, band. Yes. The sex <laughs> generals. Called the Sex Generals, right? Sex Generals. That's right. And they are, uh, th- when we whenever we play, we we essentially warm up the stage for the la- for the round of the Omegathon that takes place in the music games, mm-hmm. and those guys. Uh, we, we made up a pretend song from them where I did the lyrics and the melody and then Harmonix put together like a super group of internal employees and they put together a really filthy, nasty arena rock <laughs> uh, backing track for it. It's nice. going to be fun. That's cool. Assuming we can get through it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's brutal. The, the, the solo is, is it's pure savagery. That's cool. Yeah, that's... Uh, I'm about to get into the Rock Band Network closed beta, I guess. So I'm, oh, I'm just, oh. I'm start. That's, but, but that, that's something that you do. Like, I mean, you actually have tracks with masters. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So it's, but the, the thing, like, the big worry now is that they're all really boring in terms of just like. Oh, in terms of game Like, play. imagining them in terms of like, yeah, like a drum controller. It's like, there are no fills in any of these songs. I can't do this. So now, right. like, I'm, I'm thinking, do I need to go back and, like, redo I was just going to say, but wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be interesting if in trying to create better gameplay, you ended up like embellishing and improving your actual your musical work. So th- that's that's basically where it's gonna go. I don't know if the song will end up being better to listen to, but at least it'll <laughs> end up being better to play. <laughs> but, so 
I guess, I, you know, that's always my thing. Gameplay is, is king, right? So if I can do something on, along those lines and, and make... Well, let me know. Songs, we, we, if, if you kick a track out, send me, send me both versions. Yeah, for sure. I would love to hear that. Yeah, it, it should be... It's something I actually almost did with Audio Surf. But that seemed oh. like a lot harder of just like... Because I couldn't figure out what I would need to do to the songs to make ah. them more, you know, rampy, right. weird, fast and slow type right, right. stuff. So... What are your favorite games at the show? Like, what, what are, you, are you guys like with the time you're getting specifically out there, here you, at the show? Yeah, you're like running out and like playing stuff. Is there something that you like keep coming back to, or, or do you have to kind of like? I went into the exhibition cool hall this morning around. before it opened, mm. really thinking that that would be my opportunity to play some Diablo three, mm. and it was packed with exhibitors. <laughs> like, there was a line of exhibitors. I still couldn't play it, um, <laughs> but uh, it, it looks amazing. And God, did you see that racing game from Disney? I forget what it's called. Second. Split second. Oh, it's, it's from yeah, yeah, it's, it's they, they had the booth, guys. but when, when I went by early as well, yeah. and the screens weren't on yet, okay. and so I, I couldn't see it. But I mean, Split Second is coming out in Blur. I'm actually bo- interested in both yeah, of yeah, these yeah. these racing things. So Split Second is one where it's sort of like a pyrotechnics thing, where you're driving through an environment and you can cue. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's like buildings will fall. Yeah. Of alternate it looked really cool. Stuff. It's the guys who did Pure, so it's oh got, yeah, it's got a certain yeah. visual pedigree, yeah. and yeah. you know. I like a, a different spin on the like burnout ridiculous. I hope the frame rate gets there. Like that's kind of the thing. It seems like when stuff really gets set off, that it, it dies. Yeah, a little bit. it looks yeah. kind of raw. But all, all the footage I had seen was from way earlier builds and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, just, again, we, we don't we don't go to something like Gamescom, right? Right, and so because we can't attend those, like PAX is often. Like I'm glad that our our exhibition hall is as, is as robust as it is this year because it's the first chance we've gotten. To see, yeah. I mean, ostensibly editorial context, right? Like, right, right. it's the first chance we've gotten to actually see a bunch of that stuff. And then you had BlizzCon just wrapped up, and so people are getting a chance to play yeah. all three. I mean, th- that's some pretty big. That's Absolutely. a big deal. Yeah, that's Definitely. a big deal. Uh, my my favorite thing that I that I have seen out there was actually Heavy Rain. Did you see somebody mm. play a full demo of that? No, I played. I played a full demo. Of Fuck it. me. Now, which one did which one did you play? I did the uh, the liquor the store. grocery I watched, store. I watched yeah. someone do the, the grocery store, and then I did it. So. I watched someone else do it, and they did it basically they, perfect. They tossed the guy down. They, yeah. they came through. like They tried to grab the, the liquor bottle off the shelf, but then they didn't like feather it just right or whatever, yeah. so he dropped it. So then he had to you know, cool the guy down and, and talk him down off of it. I could Eventually not got the guy believe to leave. it. And then I decided, you know what, I'm going to do this the worst way I possibly can. And so you're walking on potato I chips. Yeah. Potato chip. I put my arms <laughs> up and down like several times. So that, <laughs> so that the guy is just completely on edge and freaked out. And then oh. I taunt him and then he shoots me. So. You, know, you, know what remind, you know what it reminds me of the most? Hmm. Uh, especially where, where you're moving around and the controls are a little bit wonky, but they work, right? Yeah. They work. A little tanky. But it's, it's, I mean, by and large, it has a, it, they're going for a super photorealistic thing. It reminded me most of all of Shenmue. I've been saying that exact thing. Okay, all right. I am glad to hear that because I felt it immediately. As soon as I was walking through that store, I was like, oh, I need to get light bulbs and batteries. (laughs) (laughs) I got to get into the fucking basement. I also just recently played some Shenmue, so I was thinking maybe that was what was coloring that, but I think there's something to... It's perfect. No, the quick time element. I mean, it's like a Shenmue clone. But beyond that, like, there's a a hushed nature to the way that uh, all the voices sound. Like everything sounds like there's no air in that room, and that's like a, like sound profile identical to the way Shenmue sounds, and oh. like what you're saying, like kind of the the going for a photorealistic look. Both of those games have that, and there's a just a super measured pacing to all of the dialogue in that game. No one's rushing through any of yeah. their lines. Uh, I'm so glad to hear somebody else say that. I thought I thought it was Crazy Town. No, nope, but nope. awesome. Crazy that is great. Crazy Towns in that game? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 uh, you know, new, new level opening credit music. New level packs awesome. is, packs exclusive. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, that, that, yeah, it's awesome to see stuff like that because we didn't go to, to Gamescom either. Because yeah, it's expensive. It's expensive, and it's really close to E3. So you're going for like four games. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the but, day. Again, but Gamescom again, a public show, right? Right. And so there's a lot of value for people who aren't. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, that's you know, that's this. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, so it's like I mean, we're able to come here and, and over see here. that stuff, which is, yeah. is really handy. And then it, it's an interesting, you seem to have created this interesting neutral territory where now everyone with a podcast, everyone with, with any kind of showy thing now like absolutely has to have a panel. I and mean, you've got like G4 in here doing like oh, three yeah. panels, we're doing our panel, one of us doing a panel, like all these It's fun, panels. but, but, but that, that's a part of the philosophy, so that's one of the core sort of tenets mm-hmm. of the PAX philosophy, which is, which is that we endeavor to create a corporeal internet. And so, if you're go, if you're watching shows on G4, mm-hmm. if you're listening to the Giant Bomb podcast, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. this is an opportunity. And a lot of these things are be, they're being recorded live. 
Like I know that there was a, they did a, a, a game trailer, did like I think they did a bonus round here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. That, that that's actually happening here. That that's a real thing. Again, it, maybe it goes back to the idea that we have our own heroes, like we have our own famous people. Like we want to make those we want to make those things real, mm -hmm. essentially. And that that's sort of like the meta goal uh, that we try to do. Yeah, and, and that's that's just something that's really exciting to see. I don't know. It, it's it's interesting, and I, and I wonder like as the show gets bigger, you know, at what point you start running out of room for panels, and you start after like playing God and saying like. Uh, we already we have already to do that. We already we we already have to be real picky because people can submit panels. I right. mean, yeah. we already have to you know we have to be arbiters, especially in the ex in the exhibition room. Right. Like we filled up the exhibition room, we had to expand it into the yeah, it's definitely like bigger than last year. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like big <laughs> Intel saying? truck in the back, like taking up all this space. Yeah. Yeah. Like exactly. All, yeah. Exactly. And so in in order to get more people in, you know, we have to we have to make decisions about you know what a booth can consist of and. Well, thank you for the excellent time slot. That's true. <laughs> for our panel. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited about it. So how much, how much time of yours over the course of a year does it take to put on a PAX? Well, very little of our time. I mean, we basically have hired well, people Yeah, to... in aggregate, maybe it's a lot. But, but well, the day-to-day -day yeah. stuff is not us at all. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a whole... You know, when I say that Penny Arcade has 12 people, you know, they're there so that we don't have to worry about this stuff. Right. I mean, we make a comic every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and they make things like this a reality. Right. And they're, they're skilled, you know, I mean, we have a history of, of screwing up a good thing. Yeah. Um, and that's, I mean, that's why we've, that's why we've got them. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've got them to essentially protect the, protect the mechanical operation of the show yeah. from us. But our task is to determine, is to determine it's basically its culture. Right, right, to make sure that it reflects the what feel, you guys yeah. are The feel about. of the show. Yeah. Is is our job, and so they'll come in all the time and ask us if this is okay. If this is okay, can we have this person exhibit? Should we have this person here? What's yeah. the craziest thing that, that they've come to you with that you've had to shoot down? Uh, who was it? Did CDV want to bring Mark Echo? Yeah, I, mean, they, I think they did. I think they did. Mark yeah, Echo. I mean, a banner out they asked us. They're like, "What do you think about Mark Echo?" And we're like, "That is a horrible idea." <laughs> but if they want to bring him, then he should understand what he's getting into. <laughs> yeah, but he showed up at, at GDC. Did he show up at GDC one year? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the GD before getting up came out. Yeah, he was he was there, like, getting ready to get talking up. Talking about one color throw ups and two, two color throw ups. Yeah, and pasting, <laughs> pasting. Just you know, a little throwy here and there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, just want to get graph culture. So like, super weird thing that happened is after that game came out. So I actually really liked getting. Yeah, up. I remember. I remember reading that review. It was, thinking, a, it was a, you know, okay, crap game. No, I know, yeah, it's you know, it, it's 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 no, not a game that should be good, but it actually turned out. Yeah, like but really but, good. It, but it worked for you. Yeah. Um, and he ended up, uh, there was someone in some interview giving him shit about it, and he mentioned my name. Uh -oh. It's like this weird thing. Like, you know, real wrong. respected video game reviewers, like Jeff Gersman and shit, thought that shit was the shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the exact quote, but, right. you know, that's... But yeah, it's probably similar. Probably pretty close. Weird. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry hated the game. Like, you said that there were a bunch of different games there, and you couldn't decide which one you hated most. But for me, it's his Halo shirts. Those are a crime. Oh, my God. Oh, like oh, he, literally, he should go to jail. <laughs> now, Brent, Brenna got me that, that a Star Wars, like a dark side Star Wars shirt by Mark Echo. Yeah, I wear it just to annoy our graphic designer. <laughs> but she, but it's, like, it's like I can't tell Brenna that you know Mark Echo is 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 an enemy of the state. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shirt be gone. You know I, I can't be that dude. He is a fucking art criminal. No, those those Halo shirts like that's not even design. It's no. just like. We have these Halo assets. We'll throw them haphazardly on this shirt it's and just call like it a Photoshop name. stamp. Rotate a little bit. Like, this yeah. one's just like Master yeah, Chief. Yeah, one of them like, is just Master spiraling Chief spiraling out, like, around. <laughs> what? He's just chiefing. You know what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> Do we need, we and when I wear that, that shirt, motherfucker, I'm chiefing. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to go to our thing? Uh, at six o'clock is our six? dinner break. Okay. And then we have to go to our thing. All right. Okay. We have a second to eat. A no, there there, there is a um, like a sound test for the the rock band. Cool. Well, we won't keep you super yeah. long. Well, this this has been this has been the a completely. This is weird. I didn't even realize there was like no interview. It was just a discussion. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah this this never. Is there anything you guys want to plug? I understand PAX is going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's sold out though, so you can't really come to it. Uh, yeah. Ask him about his wrist. <laughs> uh, so so yeah, I, I read we, some stuff on Twitter. We saw some. Oh, you we did? Back to the yeah, hotel room. Really sure some, if you were going to be some here. this gear here. Back to the hotel motel. You probably shouldn't be here. And uh, so yeah, you've got a, a, a little I do. strap here that says Hulkin's baby girl A. Exactly. This uh, declares 
that it's okay for me to touch my daughter while in the context of the hospital. Wow. It identifies me as her father. Wow. And it's true. So it's that, quite true. That was, that was today. Yes. So I remember. How, how did the conversation leading up to this probably being during PAX or, you know, right around PAX, like... She was unconscious and in agony. I just slipped out. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember... Get back! In no. earlier PAX, uh, with your first child, that there was a strip about this line. That was his. Was that was close. It was really close. There was the same conversation. I was like, yeah. how is this happening again? <laughs> Poor planning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he actually came to Karen and Dream and said, I'm not going to be born yet. Yeah, he I'm going to be born on the 9th. And he was born on the 9th. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, no, I mean, I, this morning, I mean, I, I came back from the show, it was a, a, just elated, like, optimal evening, uh, came back from the show, uh, went to bed about 1.30, woke up at 5.30 in a, in a pool of amniotic fluid, mm. and uh, we decided that we were going to go to the hospital. Your water That broke? seems like a pretty good It reason. wasn't my water. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, that's I don't, know. I don't, know I don't have a water. Okay. Well, I do now. But do you have a, I mean, yeah. do you have a, a water? water. <laughs> Dudes. So, so uh, uh, well, congratulations. Thank you. That's uh, it's Thank fantastic. You very much. That's uh, imagine yeah, an exciting, exciting week for you. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, as, as soon as as soon as we get done wrapping up this the, the music thing, I'm gonna head back to my hotel, scoop up all of my items, uh, toiletries and so forth, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna head back and fall asleep on their terrible couch. Disappear into the night in the hospital. Yeah. And uh, are, so are you free at all to then talk about uh, this this other camera crew that is? Uh, here in the room, you, you mentioned a little something about this uh, uh, on the. Uh, oh, on the in on the, the comments. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it is pretty much like we said. It's going to be like deadliest catch, but with JPEGs. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see if there's a niche for that kind of product. Yeah, we we <laughs> thought that it might be interesting for people to see what it's like, sort of being us and working at Panarcade and making comics and doing packs. Because it is very strange. It's a me. weird job, a really weird job. Yeah. And so they're, they've been filming us, and they're going to look at it, and if it is interesting, we'll probably make a show or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They're, all, they're also here ca- you know, capturing PAX stuff. They're filming yeah. the concerts, and mm. they're, they're just trying to soak up as much PAX as they can with their devices. Right. That's, we, brought a lot of, we brought some of our devices to soak <laughs> up as much as we did as well. <laughs> Which, and, it, and it's weird. I'm sure it's weird putting it on, and it's weird being here, too, just going and standing out on that atrium space and... It's this, I, I can think of no better place to people watch than PAX. Yeah, you it's see, pretty you cool. see no it's stranger pretty and amazing group of people. You actually see a lot of really friendly people. Oh, absolutely. I, yeah. I just got the text that it's time to go. It is? Right. Yes. Just wrap it up, gentlemen. Thank you so much for your time. Love y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.